Where's, where's a victory song? Wow. That's the wow button. I knew that. I can't not think of sensible song. tomorrow. Thank you, Lassan, for the gifted sub over to Wandering Goose. song. This is KK Disco from the Animal Crossing series. Everybody, do the gear stick. Well, we finally got the greenhouse. It took us long enough. I guess I don't need to do that anymore. E.T., we harvested our first cauliflower to, um, yesterday in-game. How you doing, E.T.? Hope you are well. Uh, at least with Red Dead Redemption 2 RP, you can give your horse pats for chat. <laughs> Hello, Rocket Man. How you doing? Nah, I don't know. I, I honestly, I, out of the two, I'd really love to actually find a really good like eco server to play on. Which is weird because I've never really been much of a social gamer. I usually like, ooh, Dino Egg. Um. I usually don't like playing games socially. I just like chilling out with myself. But I think like in an in like a roleplay scenario where I'm like playing as a character on a server with a, a role to do as well. I feel like that would be so much fun. Uh, I just did it, ET. I just did it overnight. Boom, artisan. Wait, so we can sell this stuff today. <gasps> Yay. We can make money again. <laughs> but can I sell this stuff to Pierre with the artisan buff? I can, can't I? Let's go get money. Please don't do that. Exactly, Jay. Exactly. I guess we need to keep all of the eggs, don't we? Even the dino eggs. Ugh. And the rabbit's foots. So, um... Do we get access to Willy's boat immediately? Feeling a little under the weather? Oh, I'm sorry to hear. Hopefully you feel better, better soon. Uh, bugs suck. Rocket Lady will make you some nice chicken soup. Overnight cutscene. I know we have to... I know it has to be repaired by the Junimos, doesn't it? But do we have access... Now that we've finished the community center, do we have access immediately to go and fix it up? Like, to go and, um... Take the materials there? Oh, he and Robin fix it overnight. Right. I thought it was the Junimos. But no, you're right. It is Robin and, and Willy. Slinking away. <laughs> Get a letter the next day? You can today. Okay. Oh, look at the boat in the vault. Oh. Oh. Oh, right, Rocket. I see. I'm not sure how you did it, Dazzer, but the community center has never looked better. You've done Pelican Town a great service. Everyone in town is pleased. Hey, good morning, Delaray. How you doing? As a way of saying thank you, I'd like to present you with this town's greatest honor, the Stardew Hero Award. You've earned it. I thought they said the Stardew Hero Award. And I was like, what? I am here. 
you received a Stardew Hero Trophy. Grumble, grumble. Who's that? Sales have been plummeting. Where have all my customers gone? Yeah, Morris. I did grow the cauliflower. Yeah, we harvested it yesterday. <laughs> what? All my customers here? This isn't good. Pop them in the snout. I love this cutscene. This is so stupid. Let's settle this the old-fashioned way. This means nothing. I'll just run a 75% off sale and all my customers will come crawling back to me begging for forgiveness. You'll see. No, not this time, Morris. I think it's time we settle this once and for all. Oh, and how do you propose we do that? Stick him up, buddy. Ha, <laughs> primitive. If you're too scared to fight, then bring one of your co-workers. Or are all Jodra employees such cowards? Insult me all you like, but don't you dare slander the good name of Joja. Has anyone else, like, in their life actually felt this way about a company that they work for? Any, any time. <laughs> George loves it. So dumb. You're even weaker than your fresh produce selection. Yeah, E.T. And the way you throw punches is just like Joja. Quantity over quality. Hit with an uppercut. Sure you can. Hiya! Yeet. I just fixed that. <laughs> CC. <laughs> oh dear. Morris and his Jojo Mark cronies were never heard from again. That was fun. Yeeted to the moon. I love it. Ooh, a diamond for Elliot. Have, have we maxed him out though, haven't we? We have. I'm actually going to ignore that. As much as I would love the extra money, uh, we're about to... We're about to get a buttload of money right now. Doo -doo, doo -doo. This is artisan prices, right? Yeah, 6.30. Good, 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 good. We need that money. Wait, what did the- was it the mead that just sold for so much? I was like, whoa, hold up. <laughs> oh wait, what was the day that, um... Yeah, I did become artisan overnight, yeah. I don't know why I didn't think that I did for some reason. What was the day that you can buy honey from Sandy? Because... I mean, we've got not we've not got anything else to stick in the kegs. We've got 200k on us now. Ah, oh, so it's gonna be like it's gonna be Thursday by the time we get to the the doodad. Boo! Willie, you stink. Is it is it Thursday for the honey? Damn. Well, we gotta go there on Thursday for Deluxe Speed Grow anyway. Friday when she sells the honey. Thank you, Lily. We might as well get it then as well. You need the letter? Damn. That's annoying. Right, let's go see if we got another morel mushroom. Change it to a breed so I can't order multiple the same donuts anymore. Wait, what? What? <laughs> Why? Why would they do that? But also donuts for breakfast? Ah. What'd you get instead? Ooh, a breakfast bagel. Oh. So 
So, okay, chat, you know how I was talking about last time, how I suck at- Oh, there's the morel mushroom, we're fine, we're absolutely golden. You know how I said, um, last stream about how, um, how, how I learned the hard way about dishwashers and my roasting tray and how it, like, destroyed the non-stick coating and it, like, peeled it all off? Yeah, I got double from it, that was good. Uh, when I went to Tesco's the other night, I had a quick look at the one that I bought, and it did say, on the label, dishwasher safe. <laughs> How are you meant to trust these people? <laughs> when a dishwasher safe piece of thingamabob isn't dishwasher safe anymore. You don't. I learned the hard way. Can I put that in that corner? Ta-da! Yeah, I guess if it's got a non-stick Teflon coating, it's just not dishwasher safe, even if it says it is. It's not on, take it back. Well, I can't take it back, because I had it for months. <laughs> hey, no worries, Lily. Enjoy the sauna. So, Motherbound came up with a good idea. She's like, why don't you just get a Pyrex dish? Or, you know, one of those big glass dishes, which are dishwasher safe because they're Pyrex. I was like, you know what? If the dishwasher can clean it, I don't see why not. What's the furthest you've played in Stardew Valley? Year 1, Year 2, Year 3, Year 4 or beyond? I've never played. I'm gonna go for Year 4 or beyond. Thank you, Jay. I've been trying to... Oh, wait. Is that... Chicky Gervais is at full hearts? Nice. Um, I've been playing around with ideas for how to, like, get a, um, a display on screen for the polls. So I might be doing away with, like, the Twitch polls overall. But I'm not sure. I, I've got to do a lot of, uh, figuring stuff out. Yeah, like, there's a way of doing it. Um... Like, how do you... Oh, there's, there's like a there's like a link you can get, which shows the default Twitch one. Um, what was it? Slash poll results? Poll is already active. Well, I know that. Manage poll, is that the one? Vote breakdown. No, that's not it. So like, if I go into Twitch mode right now, and I add a new browser source, we're gonna see some stuff chat. Ah! My face! Yeah, that looks stupid. <laughs> nah, there's, there's, a, there's a better way of doing it. There's a better way of doing it. Um, you know me, I like to try and figure out ways of doing things so that they look good. IMO. Yeah, that's the pop-out browser source URL. That's the one that they gave me, anyway. Alright, let's 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 go for a quick leak search, because I know- Oh, we- It's gonna be raining tomorrow, so we can catch the legend fish. We also need to catch some eels? Think. I have a problem of constantly restarting saves. Ah, uh, that's fair though, you know. Honestly, there's something that... After I play Stardew for long enough, I end up finding myself falling into the same routine. And starting a new save file shakes it up. So I get it, I completely get it. Year 4 or beyond, 18 votes, 62%. Let's have a look at the breakdown. Wow. Well, no one voted year 1. So people always make it past the first year. Good chat. That means you're hooked. <laughs> Let's give myself a new challenge or restriction each playthrough. It's a good way to keep things fresh. Alright, we've got lots of coconuts over here. 
I thought I'd just come to the desert real quick, pop a gift to Sandy, because she's lagging quite far behind. Yeah, E.T., there are. Yeah, there's, um... There's options. I've got options, that's for sure. It's just the, the case of sitting down and, and figuring it out. That's all. Kelsey! I know you've been playing Minecraft, because when CK was streaming the other day and he said, Oh, just a second, I've got a message to update the server. I was like, right, that's Kelsey. <laughs> How you doing, Kelsey? Hope you're well. Boom, 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 boom. Year 20, no way. No, fix. I don't feel comfortable fixing myself. That's fair. And Joy-Cons are expensive as well. Uh, have you thought about getting like a, a third-party controller? It's like a, a cheap wired one for like 20 bucks. Might be a, a good option. Year 20, that is crazy. See, I can never bring myself to, to like, go into the decoration part of the game. He's a good bean. He's alright, I suppose, sometimes. It's just so loud! <laughs> Fair enough. Year 10 on my perfection save. Hit perfection, but still trying to get... Find an auto patch that's killing me. I've only ever found one. Um, well, I've found multiple, but I've only ever found one per save file. I've never had more than one. Oh, I didn't mean to come in here. To, oh, to do this. Oh. Cheese puffs to snack on, but I need both hands to play. Oh, cheese... You picked the worst... Maze-based... Potato chip? That doesn't make any sense. Snack, I guess. Maze-based snack to eat for playing video games with. Dazza, you made it! I feel so relieved to be done with my book. It's like an elephant's been lifted off my shoulders. Three auto patches in one day. What? Well, I'd better get started with the reading. Wish me luck. Too lazy to make actual food. I feel that, Kelsey. I feel that. Run is Elliot's book reading. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, when I went to sleep on my Stardew Valley farm, it was like a hoo hoo. Take a look around your farm. You might find something there. I use chopsticks to eat them. Keeps the power off your hands. <laughs> Ever since I was a young boy, I've dreamed of becoming a writer. When the time came for me to leave home and start my own life, I moved here. I was drawn to the peaceful beauty of the valley, and hoped that days of quiet reflection, this idyllic atmosphere, would fan, uh, would fan the literary flames. After countless hours scribbling at my writing desk, I present to you my first book, Blue Tower. It's a mystery novel set in a surreal dystopian future. Chapter 1 Good start. From the shadows emerged a man, radiating with enigmatic omniscience. Good evening, Doctor, uh, Mr. Lou, he said, with the corners of his mouth quivering. Lou seemed astonished. How did you know my name? Modding, in, uh, modding that fishing game, for instance, really gets me seeing red. Ah! Mm -hmm. Lou checked Jenu's pockets, then stood up and walked into the bedroom. He quickly found the small golden key that he was looking for and slipped it into his coat pocket. And everyone's left. Well, that concludes my reading. I'll be selling signed copies of the book by the front desk. Thanks for listening. There's like five people here still. I didn't even know Willie could read. Well, how was it? Smile face. Thanks. You know, I got the idea for making a mystery from you. Do you remember? That's why I've dedicated this book to you. Do I get royalties, or...? Alright chat, it's finally happening. Prismatic Shard, this is our second one. Boom! New reward, what do we get? Hmm. Oh! We got the Recro! So we're still missing, funnily enough, we're still missing the Ancient Seed... Um... Item. Alright, there is a side quest we can do though that hopefully I can wrap up today. To the bus stop. 
Thank you, Mrs. Rocket. Yeah, Morgan, that's what the hooty hoo was for. Do I not have room for the iridium? Let's get rid of that tulip. Put the leeks in there. Okie dokie. So that's the rare crows, which is good. So that makes one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're just missing the alien one from the casino, and we're missing the one from the flower dance. Oh, there was a crystallarium in there? And I did- ah, oh, shoot, thank you. I have to go get that another time, because I think they're shut- no, they shut at six, don't they? Yeah, no, I- I- I, I didn't see it. <laughs> I, I saw the, um... I saw the rare crown, I was like, ooh, I completely missed the crystallarium. Come on! They shot at six, right? Crystallaria, thank you, chat. You guys are very... Uh, Eagle-eyed. Before you left it on purpose? No. No, 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 that's a good one. Uh, right, we want to go to the mines. Casino's really easy with the slots in your favor. Honestly, I usually just buy the coins. What's the best way to do Mr. Key Quest? Uh, which Mr. Key Quest? Scarlet Witch? You might have to be a bit more specific. I'm afraid I don't know. What's for breakfast, Whitney? Or? Ah, Dazza. I've been waiting for you. Have I ever told you that I used to be married? Strange, I know, for a man like me, but it's true. Or two bacon cheese biscuits. Jealous. Ah, uh, staircases and bombs is your best way, Scarlet Witch. Staircases and bombs. My wife and I were together for many years until, until I made a mistake that drove her away. Her anger and envy were so intense, she turned green and began flying around the countryside, cursing everything in her path. Yeah, level 100 though, not 125. I think the first goal is level 25 and then the next goal is level 100. When I found out, I sealed this passage to her home, fearing that an innocent villager might fall prey to her dark magic. But now, it must be unsealed. For when we separated, she took my magic ink Hello, Tish. No slip in the mail today, Tish. I need that magic ink back. I would do this myself, but I can't see you again. That's why I need your help. I have no idea, Cece. In order to unseal this passage, you'll need a dark talisman. Talk to Krobus in the sewer. He should know where to find one. I'm counting on you. If you can retrieve my magic ink, I promise I'll make it worth your while. Now go! Tish, you know me. If I would have got it, I would have told you straight away. I'd be like, Tish, I got the mail! But I didn't get it. So let's get this straight. You wronged your wife, then locked her in a cave slash swamp, and now you're only letting her out because you want to steal from her. <laughs> Geeky, if I could do that to my ex, then I would. That sounds kind of... Nope, that sounds very dark. Let's... No, let's, let's pretend that I didn't say that. Completely ignore the thing that I just said that might be illegal. In pretty much everywhere. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Kroby! Alright, Jay, so you are asking about the sealed passage. What's that? You're looking for a dark talisman? Thank you for the follow. Hmm, now you mention it, I did have one in my possession not too long ago. Unfortunately, I dropped it while exploring that tunnel in the far corner. Things started heating up in there, so I left in a hurry and sealed the entrance. You seem pretty sturdy, though, so I'll open it back up for you. Just be careful, okay? Pew pew.
had to follow after that statement. 1100 facts you won't believe, number 420. I can almost guarantee you that we've had number 420 before. You guys need to be more unique with your numbers. You know, all the funny numbers have already been asked. Or, well, actually, this is the very first one because I crossed it out. Uh, the practice of brides standing on the left hand side of the, uh, of the altar originates back to the days of marriage by capture. Back then, the groom had to keep his right hand free so he can use it to fight or fend off competitors, making a last attempt to swipe away his bride. Yikes! 3,002 questions about Daza. When you're alone in the car, what volume is the music at? 7. Does that mean anything to you? Off? Bear, some people don't like music. And listening to stuff in the car. But I've been listening to Fallout Boy's new album. Oh, well, it's not a new album yet. It's just two new singles, and I'm, 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 I've been jamming to it on repeat for like three days. Why is it full when it's late night? Otherwise it's like 12. Mine's loud enough so that I can, I can jam out, but also so that I can hear if anything goes wrong with my car and makes weird noises. So it kind of depends on what's going on, because at the moment, obviously, because it's cold and there's lots of condensation, I need to clear the windows down. Um, you know, I have it loud because the fans are on. I need to, I need to hear the music over the fans. But then also, I've got a feeling that the numbers are completely irrelevant. For example, when I've got my phone hooked up via the Bluetooths, uh, it's a bit quieter than if I had the CD in. A lot quieter, so I have to talk to Yeah, exactly, CC. Yeah. Seven. I'm at 26. Well, it depends on, you know. I, I don't want to be one of those oiks that drives around with the unts, 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 unts that you can hear from three blocks away. You know what I mean? Yeah, my phone volume is all the way up. Yeah, yeah. I like all my volume up just to be on even numbers. <laughs> Uh, do we just... Yeah, no, let's let's go visit, um, do the quest with the, the witch now. I was gonna try and catch, like, the legend fish, or sorry, the, the mutant carp, and the... the slime jack, but we can wait for those. I'm with them, I only turn it down before I turn up my court. Oh, no. Oh, dear, CC. Oh, not CC, Tish. Unts, 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 yeah. Now, I, I like to be able to at least hear if my car's gonna make some weird noises, you know what I mean? Especially with the, the bad weather, or the cold weather. And because I keep my car outside. Where am I going? This way. If you annoy me, I'll turn the music back up. Oh yeah, like, th this is the thing also, like, passengers... Passengers don't touch the speed, like the, the the volume controls. You know, you are not the DJ. Ah, okay, I did the right thing. Bling bling. But you. Thank you for the follow. Guia, human. You want to pass? I'm sorry, this is private property. I'm sorry, but I can't let you pass. I'd lose my job. Alright, let's see if we can catch the Void Salmon and a gift for the Goblin. That's not a gift for the Goblin. It's getting late, though. Oh, that works. Mm, mm. That smell. I can't resist. Give me that. You're welcome. Alright, we got the magic ink. The voice of the goblin. 
I can't do it too much. It will hurt my throat. Okie dokie. How goes the start you in today? Hello, Triven. It is... It's going okay. We got the cauliflower. We picked up the cauliflower on the first day today. And we're making our way to Ginger Island. Uh, I have no... It could be anything, Tish. Um... Um... You've got tickets booked for stuff you're doing in New Zealand. Saturday in game. Oh, Willie doesn't Willie doesn't open his shop on Saturdays, does he? Come on. We're going to have to leave. I'm new. What tips do you have for me? Um Play through the first year on your first farm, and just pick up how how to play the game. You know what I mean? But don't worry about making mistakes. Don't worry about falling asleep at 2 a.m. like I'm about to do, like an idiot. Um, just play the game, learn some stuff about it, and then if you get attached to that farm, carry on playing, uh, because there's absolutely no reason why you shouldn't. But if you also want to take what you've learned from your first year, into a fresh save file, then do that. I booked all my tattoo appointments. I made the deposit for the tattoo I'm getting in New Zealand. Nice! That's exciting. What, um, have you told me before what tattoo you're getting? I feel like you have. Something to do with butterflies, maybe. Kapang! Now, I do remember you telling me, though, that you have... Like, the tattoos that you do have are small and in, like, more inconspicuous locations. Like, I think you said that you had a tattoo on your ankle? Maybe that's someone else. Try more medieval animal slash creature. Oh! The, the rabbit thing. The rabbit with horns. A snail? How many plans for the day? Yep. Busy day today. It's Vincent's birthday, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. There are tons of snails in medieval art. What? It's gonna rain tomorrow as well? Queen of Source says spirits are in good humor. No, the Queen of Source doesn't say that. Little fox outline on my ankle. Saturn and two stars constellation on my right wrist and cherry blossom on my inner left forearm. Inner left forearm. Ah. I remember the ankle one. I, I had a feeling you also had one on your wrist, but couldn't remember. You're getting a dragon? Okay, that's cool. Dragons are awesome. Is it big dragon, little dragon? Where's it going? We need details. We need details. I forgot it was there. <laughs> Dazzer, or you've unlocked the back room of the shop. Come by when you have a chance. There's something I want to show you. Willie. Pierre General Store is now open seven days a week. Cool, lava wheel, that trap bobber. Nice, CC, nice. And found his face down. I swear, if that was going to be... Um, Caroline with a cauliflower, I was going to lose it. <laughs> A full back tattoo of a dragon, like shoulder to shoulder, neck to waist. I would recommend against that. I had a co-worker that had an eagle like that, and he said it was the biggest mistake of his life. He, like, showed us, he, like, took his, his work shirt off and showed us, and it was, it was all right, <laughs> but it wasn't amazing, and he, like, completely regretted it. Two-ish little dragons on my inner right arm with a crescent moon just below the elbow. You see, I'm, I don't think I would ever go, like, too crazy with tattoos, right? But I would say that if, if I was to get a tattoo, it would be mostly to cover up, like, a surgery scar. Like, if I ever get my big arm lump sorted out, which I don't think they'll ever do because it's not going to kill me. Um, so if I want to get it pay done, I, I have to pay, like, a plastic surgeon for it, which sucks. Um, but I'd like I'd try and get that covered up, and I'd, I'd like to get something like um, a tribal style of Ho-Oh and Lugia, 
like wrapping around my my upper arm. I think that would look really cool. But also really stupid. Or the potential to look stupid. Especially when I'm like 80 and I've got a Pokemon tattoo. <laughs> Had a zipper tattoo on the scar, it was great. <laughs> no! Ah! All these mammals. So without tattoos, I feel like it's one of those, the bigger the tattoo, the better the artist needs to be. You need to find, like, the best artist in the state to do a full back tattoo. Yeah. Green beans, chat! We finally got green beans! You'd be the cool 80-year-old with a Pokemon tattoo. Maybe. Stylized Zelda crest on my shoulder. That sounds cool. Nighttime in Minecraft, I was panicking. I love you. <laughs> oh no, Kelsey. Oh no. Are you still as uh, accident prone in Minecraft as you used to be? I can't play Minecraft anymore. Not after what happened. Okay. Is the rice ready? No. So we have fish to catch today, don't we? We need to catch the legend fish. Is the No, the octopus is summer. Still waiting for that crawfish, periwinkle and snail. I think that's the slime jack? I'm not sure. That's the scorpion carp. We're getting there though, but we need um, we need fish for certain dishes. Get wild bait and bobbers. What for? Uh, right. So we need two eels. Any other fish we can just get now? Oh my goodness, I've got so many fish in there. Oh, I do have a lobster in there though, for the lobster bisque. That's good. I've got a crab ready for... Yeah, one crab for crab cakes. So I need two eels. I do need a midnight carp. Oh yeah, that's the fish that um, that's the fish that I tried to catch at the end of the season, but I didn't. And then you guys said that I could catch it from Ginger Island. So I did get the salmon as well. Did I get the rainbow trout? No, because that's summer. Did I get salmon? <gasps> did I not get the salmon? It's a herring. Okay, so I need to get the salmon in fall. That's fine. So the only one that's like spring in the rain that I need to get is two eels. So it's in the ocean, 4 p.m. to 2 a.m. We can do that. Got bream? I believe so. Oh, maybe not. Doesn't look like it. So that's rain, river, any time, right? Uh, it looks like today's going to be a fishing day. Uh, as long as you're happy with your tattoo, everyone else's opinion are, are a moot point. Uh, I'm also a fan of the imperfect tattoos. Or, as all mine are, gives the tattoo's character and tells a story. Yeah, I think that's the, the, the important part, isn't it, Tish? It's... It's your tattoo. It's, it's on your body. So as long as you're happy with it, then heck everyone else. Oh, it's an evening fish. Okay, thank you. So we have to go... I've already forgotten when the eel is available. 4 p.m. to 2 a.m. So that's an evening fish as well. Fish bite quick with wild bait and you get a chance of two fish in one catch. Oh, I don't really care about that. I'm 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 happy not bothering with that. Plus, wild bait is a pain to make, isn't it? Fiber bug meat and slime? Yeah, not worth it. All that fiber. It's good for your bowel movements. But we need it for other stuff. <clears throat> All 
All right, Willie. Oh. Aye, that's sad sight, isn't she? She was me father's boat, served him well for over fifty years. But now, she can barely stay afloat. I'd repair her myself, but I don't have the right materials, lad. Oh, really, Tish? That's funny. Aye, 200 pieces of hardwood to patch the hole would be a good start. But we'll also need to get the ticket machine back up and the Iridium anchor repaired. If I could get my hands on the right materials and repair the old girl, well, then I could take you to the Fern Islands. Volcanic Islands, full of strange parrots, they say. I'd like to help. Aye, I thought you would, lad. I'll leave this door unlocked for you. You can come drop off the materials whenever you like. Okie dokie. Done. 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 The boat will be repaired overnight. Alright, chat. Thursday the 11th will be our first foray into uh, Ginger Island. We're finally going. Parrots. <laughs> Pirates and parrots. Alright, let's go finish off the fishing that I need to do. Um, we'll go back up to the uh, the swamp. Is there anything else we need to do on the farm? Not really. Nope, oh, that's my sword. Bye. I was going to talk to him, but he just walked past me as I showed my sword and didn't care. Hello, Tiz. How are we doing? My throat's a little bit scratchy after doing the willy voice, but I'm good. How are you? Do we need... Oh, do we need a catfish for anything? Have a good look, Jay. Much appreciated. We can meet Leo. Yeah, we're going to have to remember to take him duck feathers. What's up, Rebel Assassin? How you doing? Hope you're having a good weekend. Chat, what are we up to this weekend? What we got going on? I should maybe be focusing on the legend fish instead, since we have to catch that during the rain. Relaxing weekend waiting. Nice. Not much is cold here the next couple of days. Yeah, same here. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Oh. That's not the fish I thought it would be. Playing Stardew sounds good. I'm doing a massive cleaning, prepping from eight for a UK coming for the safer week. Awesome. I go get a sandwich from a local shop. This full chicken sandwich, it sounds amazing. Ooh. Oh, that's awesome, Tish. That's exciting. Little babby. Oh, my goodness. Kiko Skia, thank you for the raid. Welcome, raiders. I'll talk to you in a second. I've got a fish to catch. Which is being a pain in the neck. <laughs> How was your stream today? Hope, hope it was well. Let us know what you got into. Got this fish. This is the void salmon, I believe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Welcome, Raiders. I'm good, thanks, Kiko. How are you doing? The option of magic bait later should be fine, but legend fish should get priority. Yeah. You found my ink. Excellent. Fishing stream. <laughs> uh. No, you're not getting a panda. I Tish, no. Just get a baby instead. It's the same thing. <laughs> Do you happen to see my ex-wife? No? Well, what about her house? Do you think she lives alone? Or... Uh, she lives with a little goblin. Actually, don't tell me. I don't want to know. Dude, if you still have feelings for her, then, you know, 
Go tell her, dude. Like, you know, the worst she could do is say no and you're in the same spot, right? Have you seen what a panda grows up to, T uh, Tish? Did some relaxing stuff on uh, Hillsfire, including having Pearl moving. Pearl's cute. I like Pearl. Her eyes are a bit creepy, though. It's a book of summoning. The arcane potential is immense. But I'll make, you, make it simple for you. By using this book, you can summon magic buildings directly to your farm. Oh, excuse me. Oh, I think you'll find it useful. Uh, the goblin always lived in there, Mrs. Rocket. Maybe she is the goblin. It could be. A baby panda just grows into a bigger panda, innit? Well done! Kelsey, you've passed Biology 101. For locking her away in the cave. A big cuddly bear that will definitely not kill me. Isn't like... Have you seen big pandas, though? I don't think they really can kill you. You don't want a koala. I'm pretty sure you don't want a koala. Tish, isn't there something wrong with koalas? Don't they carry, like, a bunch of disease? Alright. Also, it's weird to me that the wizard, now that you've done this, he does have this place where you can just teleport to and from his ex-wife's house. Standard things. They carry chlamydia. Oh my goodness. You can catch an STD from cuddling a koala. That's... Yep, a thing. Run away from the cute looking savage things. <laughs> Can you imagine, like, trying to explain it? Like, oh, uh, yeah, I got chlamydia. Excuse me? No, it's not what you think. I got it from a koala. <laughs> that doesn't make it any better. <laughs> oh, dear. Gonorrhea. Oh, my goodness. Poor little koalas. All right, where's my trap, Bobber? There it is. All right, we're going fishing. I hear jail time coming. Yeah, huh? If someone looks cute and is from Australia, run, run away, run away as fast as you can. Teach, is there anything in Australia that looks cute and isn't going to kill you? Just you know, curious for when I live there. Including the people. Dogs. Perfect. Possums. Aren't Australian possums compared to American possums, like, adorable? But then, American possums look like absolute little gremlins. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Kylie Minogue. Oh, dear. Not dingoes. Also massive vermin. Just like kangaroos. Nazza, why are you here out in the rain? I'll ask you the same question. That's true. Some of the sheep. Ours are creepy gremlins, but they eat all the ticks, so I'm down with them. That's fair. Oh, I got an itchy ankle. That's better. I came here to spend some time alone. Oh, I'll leave then. Wallabies are super cute and less dangerous. What about wombats? And plat aren't platypus Australian natives, or did I get that wrong? Wombats poop in cubes, don't they? I love that. Daisy told me that, and I've never forgotten it. Quackers! Yes! Quackers! Quackers! I've, have I still got that picture? Do I still have the picture of the quacker on my desktop? I don't think I do. Oh. I remember googling a picture of a quacker to show stream. And then I put it on my, like, I, oh, I must have deleted it. Oh, I'm so sad. I'm gonna have a pet koala and a pet dingo and maybe a pet wombat. I'll also bring, bring some kiwis over from New Zealand. <laughs> Wait, E.T., do you live in New Zealand? You're getting soaked. Come stand under the tree. Okay. And you hit them with a car? Oh, my goodness. It's impossible to describe this feeling, watching the curtains of rain whisper above a silent lake. You live on the west coast of the U.S. Oh, okay. Nowhere near anything cute. Oh. <laughs> west Coast. West Coast is cool. Hey, a mini harp. Yeah, I pulled it out of my butt. You're full of surprises, Dazzler. I'm impressed. Yeah, I pulled it out of my butt. Excuse me. 
Wait, I don't think I'm level 10 fishing yet. Coffee and hipster's not exactly my crowd. Yeah, okay, I was thinking more like California, not like Seattle area. Um, can I even reach? What level do you have to be to reach the legend fish? Can I get there at level 9, or would I have to eat some food? All we need is a sick booty catsy track. <laughs> Beautiful country up there. I hear Seattle is expensive as well. I had a friend that lived in Seattle. And just moved away from it. That's not the legend fish. Well, if we happen to catch a largemouth bass, that would be good. Gianna for Lawrence. Uh, it's now 4 p.m. One bed, one bath is 450. That doesn't sound expensive. Oh, 450k! Yeah! Uh, well, I, I thought you meant it was $450 a month mm -hmm. to rent. Yeah. <laughs> That's... Uh, <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> Put it into perspective. This house that we bought... Um, mind you, this was pre-COVID and pre-house like house prices going crazy. We bought this house for just under £160,000, which is like, I don't know, maybe $200,000. Um, and it's it's two bed, one bath, and needs a lot of work doing to it. Well, at least I didn't call you a chub again, T uh, Kelsey, so there's that. That's good. Yeah, it was really good, but it, it's needed so much work done to it. Chat, am I- is this a fool's errand right now? Can I even reach the legend fish? Mm -hmm. Do I have to be level 10 for it? You forgot the K? Yeah, that, that's kind of important. Oh, t that's nothing. I've been getting names wrong all the time. 2,500 a month for a two bed, two bath. Hour bus ride, that's crazy. Yeah, I'm about an hour bus ride from um, my nearest local city as well. Alright, I'm going to stop trying to catch the legend fish here, because I feel like I need food. You have to be level 10, but you're buff way there if you choose fish or food. Yeah, I'm going to go get the dish of the sea. Yeah, thank you, Juniper. I thought that was the case. Um, but I'm only level 9, so I need food. Uh, to the bus stop. Hello, is it Danny Girl or Danny Girl? Da I'm, I'm guessing Danny Girl. How you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing good. Big reason to take the company pays us so much. Damn, imagine being, like, paid a, a decent wage for the living conditions of, of the area. You know what I mean? Doing good in you? Yeah, can't complain. Probably will anyway. That's how I roll. Five acres. Oh, I'd love a bunch of land. I'd, I wouldn't love having to take care of it. Maybe I would. I don't know. I feel this is, like, very irresponsible of me. But because I don't like a lot of things about my current situation, I don't take care of them enough. <laughs> like, I absolutely hate my front yard, so I don't take care of my front yard. That's not going to reach. What's the best income source when starting up? Fishing. 100% fishing. In your first uh, spring. If you help mow the lawn, you're welcome. Mowing is my least favorite. Three acres. It's mostly woods. That's what mowing last summer I found out it grows like mid shin, so I won't be doing that anymore. Mm. 
That's okay, you don't have to stream games to play them. And how often does it need to be mowed? <laughs> Yeah, I would love just like a big yard and just having dogs to run around it, or a dog to run around it. Um, legend fish, hello? I could be catching an eel right about now. And a bream. Can I, wait, can I catch bream from the lake? We did get the cauliflower, yes. In fact, tomorrow, we just fixed the boat, Ika. So tomorrow is going to be our first day on Ginger Island. Which is exciting. I'm looking forward to it. Hope you're well. Really, Triven? That's crazy. Thank you for the follow. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate the follows coming in, guys. Uh, we are lurker friendly with the follow alerts, so I ain't gonna shout your name out. So you, hopefully you don't feel the uh, the pressure to pipe up. But also on the flip side, if you want to jump in chat, we like that too. It's up to you to watch how you how you fancy. I don't mind. Trying to find those damn walnuts. They could be a pain. They could be a pain. Oh, tomorrow we've got to go visit Sandy as well. How come I'm not finding this legend fish? Hello, bookworm. This is really annoying me. We've got tomorrow where it's raining, so I could come back here in the morning. Yo, Dusty, how you doing? Have a good look, Francois. Appreciate it. Oh, we're on. We're oh. I hate this fish. Focus mode. Jerk. We lost it. Ah! Oh! That fish has a hat. It's got a crown on it. It means it's one of the legend fish. That was, uh, that was painful. The crown is a kind of hat. You're right, yeah. Perfect time to raid? Well, actually, it's funny you say that, because we just got raided while we were doing the, uh, the scorp- the, the salmon- the void salmon. Which was a lot easier than the stupid legend fish. F for fish. We'll get another one. We'll get another one. We need to. Mm -hmm. How can we do this any better? Like, we've got Trap Bobber. We've got level 10. Actually, how... What? Trap Bobber's about to break. I should have made another one. Yeah, it's Gold Star. Yeah, 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 yeah. Trap bomb is going to break. We're going to have to try and do this without it. Well, this is unfortunate. Normally I catch it, like, first attempt. Well, not, not first attempt catching it, but, like, on the first day of trying to catch it. We are lucky that we have another rain day tomorrow. But tomorrow is Ginger Island Day. We, we need an eel. Oh, well, we need two eels. We need... A bream. Oh, my fishing tackle worn out. It's a good word on the kitchen. Uh, Sparky came over. He had a good gander, good look around. Uh, we don't have the proper, like, up-to-date modern fuse board, so he's going to have to replace that because otherwise it's not safe for them to work on the electrics in the kitchen, which we needed to get done anyway. It's been on the survey ever since we, you know, looked at the house. Um, but he he said that it's it would be a... F Ooh! A fairly easy jobby for the kitchen. Um, and we're looking at around about March time for him to come and do it. But he's going to be sending us a quote next week. Do you play on controller? Yeah, I actually play on Nintendo Switch. 
two in a row. Off to make breakfast. Enjoy breakfast, Wandering mm -hmm. Goose. Enjoy breakfast. Sweet. Yeah. I'm just, you know, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm so ready. I think our fishing dish just wore, wore off. Yeah, buff run out. Yeah, I just saw that. Because the bar got smaller. Um, We don't bother catching the legend fish today, then. We go and we try and catch an eel instead. Or two. Till he starts finding surprises. Shouldn't do. Shouldn't do. Nah, he, seem, he seems like a good lad. Good bloke. Took him two days, and that was with the installation of a plug in the garage. Easy peasy. I don't think it'll I don't think it'll take him two days to do this one. Maybe it will. So yeah, you know, whenever he comes, you know, you guys will have plenty of warning, but obviously, without electricity and with an electrician poking around in the house, I probably won't be streaming. Thank you for the follow. He did make it sound very simple though. Which kind of worries me. I was like, is it really that easy? We can get level 10 fishing today, that would be great. What time does the eel run out? Lost my mouse. My mouse isn't moving. Hello? Thank you. Oh. Two AM. Okay. Oh, there's one. Come on, just one more. Hello, can you hear me? I was trying to figure out where that was from then. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Let's see if we can catch a bream as well. Bream is in the river. Where's Willy? Um, do we need the catfish for anything? I don't think we do. Nope, oh, cool. I'm just going to chuck it at Willy. Especially when computers need electricity. Kind of hard to play on the internet with no power. Exactly, yep. <laughs> Generator noise ASMR. <laughs> oh, no. Just from, from somewhere. Um, Deadpool. It's probably where you got it from. I think that's all of the fish we needed. From the crab pots, right? One snail, two periwinkles, one crayfish. Nice. All right, let's catch a bream. That's that's not a bream. Ha! <laughs> I want to go to bed with full energy, please. Well, I'm not going to go to bed with full energy, am I? Oh, Ginger Island chat. Ginger Island. We're going places. That's not a bream also. So, first thing in the morning, we grab a f food buff for fishing. We run to try and catch the le legend fish. We take our trap bobbers with us. We take all of our tools with us. We're going to pass out here. This is annoying. Hmm. Maybe? Maybe one? Uh, okay, then. It's okay, we've got food that can heal us up. It's totally fine. We can do this. We can make this happen. Oh, we also need to go to the desert. Oh, goodness. Okay. Thank you for the follow. 